players and haters. It's your least favorite duelist here. And uh, today I just wanted to show off some dual replays. Um, some of them are funsy things. I talked about surprise present in um, one of my last videos about the the skill ticket guide that I had made a couple days ago. And I, I also got a suggestion to try to build from another video so i got a little bit of both today and i wanted to show you off some stuff so one of the things that i made which uh you're going to see different variants in the replays is um we go to 5ds and we're gonna go to Usei. so this one is a majestic light buster blader which is pretty cool um it uses where our style to search your buster whelps and then this one kind of incorporates more buster uh or destruction swordsman cards like robo buster um it also uses the destruction swordsman you know and then karma so we're let's get into it okay and then i also have some degenerate decks that i'm going to show you uh so i made a surprise present uh burn deck as well which i'm going to show you a replay of which is super funny and the reason why i got surprise present for my skill ticket because I think it's a really funny ability. It's super fun. I don't think it's that meta, but it's really funny when it works. So anyways, we're playing against Aster Phoenix. All right, we got uh, essentially most of the full combo. He's playing um, he's playing a Dual Links meta deck, which is uh, this guy right here, the Guard Dragon Andrake. So essentially this deck that he's playing, you keep summoning Andrake to either pop cards or make a 4,000 attack big man. So here we go. So we pretty much open up full combo we're gonna use majestic light to bring out our um, majestic dragon and then we're gonna activate whelp to grab a fusion we have full combo at this point we're just gonna set everything in pass he's gonna swing in we're gonna pop dna surgery and fuse fuse up get our big destruction swordsman out he's gonna mass change into nothing doesn't matter koga cannot do anything under the Buster Blader. We're using we're Arf Dow to grab another Buster Whelp. We're gonna probably normal summon it, grab another. We're gonna grab Karma to banish cards out of his graveyard. And then we're gonna bring Whelp out to make Buster Blader. We're gonna banish his crap. And we're just gonna pierce those nuts real good. Real good like. We're not scared of that new structure deck over here. We just pierce the nuts. All right, we'll save the Tay, the Tay, uh, replays for last because they're funny all right as always when you play buster blader you're always going to be farming up those dragon decks so i think this is either a black wing deck or a blue eyes deck i'm not sure i never remember the replays most likely since he's playing peak performance it's um a uh black wing deck but i like i said i don't remember so we're gonna buster whelp we're gonna grab karma we're gonna bring out our emblem to get buster blader and then we're just going to tribute it off for buster blader and set that karma which if you don't know what karma does it banishes um three monsters of the same type out of your opponent's graveyard and then you gain 500 attack for each uh monster that you banish and you can keep recurring it okay so it looks like we're playing against uh red eyes black dragon so we're gonna bust her up again and we're gonna grab our fusion here because we know we're playing against dragons we're just gonna set it and pass we, i usually don't swing in right away i don't like to play aggressively um with my buster blader deck unless i know for sure i'm going to get the kill so i'm gonna fuse away for um destruction swordsman he's gonna treach my stuff unfortunately he should have treached my whelp there i don't know why he didn't because we're just gonna bring buster blader back and set up shop again here and like I said, I don't swing in right away unless I know for sure I'm going to uh, um, get the OTK. Because I'd only need to swing in once, typically with Buster Blader. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, use Buster Whelp's secondary effect to special summon itself out of the graveyard by sending a Destruction Sword card to the graveyard, which um, Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordsman, is. So we're going to just karma his stuff so he can't special summon anything out of the graveyard. We're going to swing over that um, Archfiend of Lightning. He's going to Red Eyes Insight. And then this is where it gets interesting, I believe. Okay, I remember this. I remember this deck now. So he's going to Red Eyes Fusion. Um, 
for a red eye slash but he has um he's actually using the buster blader variant here so we're just going to fuse away his stuff to get rid of it i have a whelp on the field so i really don't need to um use my whelp all right so we're going to go and tribute off that whelp again bring out buster blader he's going to necro fusion into his own destruction swordsman and i love these matchups here because uh it's super funny when you're playing against the same deck so we're going to dna surgery to put his destruction swordsman in defense there we go. And he can't do anything. So then we're just going to fuse away his Destruction Swordsman for another one of our own. And we're going to pass the turn. We can't swing directly right now, so there's no point. He's going to Red Eye Spirit, bringing a monster out, which is kind of odd because I can just attack over it. I guess he at this point he didn't care. Um, he's going to Claw Hermos to try to make a really big boy, but then he realizes that it can't attach to his red eye slash, so he just quits. All right. Then the last one, I guess we played against Kaiba twice here. But yeah, like this deck is, um, like I always say with Buster Blader, it's one of those archetypes that really hard counters one specific archetype, which is dragons. Which, you know, a lot of people love dragon decks. You know, Blue Eyes is a really popular deck, and um, it's really fun to just, oh man, I feel bad for this guy. I made him lose a rank. All right, so we're going to Majestic Light to bring out our Majestic Dragon. We're going to wear Arf down to grab a Whelp. And we're going to use Cards of Continence to dump for two cards. Grab our Whelp for our Destruction Swordsman. Because in this build, I was using some discard cards to try to get um, Destruction Swordsman into the graveyard to um, bring him out with my Buster Whelp. He's going to banish... My Karma Cut, I'm just going to pop it to get rid of it. There we go. He's going to Sage into a Blue-Eyes White Dragon. There we go. And I think he's going to pop my Whelp here. So I don't have a way to bring out a um, my Swordsman from the Graveyard right now, unfortunately. So we grab another Whelp. We're going to go and grab Fusion here. We already have DNA surgery set, so we're going to bring out the Destruction Swordsman. We're going to pop our DNA surgery, and then he's going to try to target our Destruction Swordsman. We're going to fuse that away and put our guy in defense. The other nice thing, too, about using um, the Majestic Dragon is that we have uh, ways to fuse our own monsters on our turn if we don't get a DNA surgery out. So we're just going to drop the Arbor Arf down for another fusion. He has Spear Karibo to prevent that that, that big damage. 4,300. 4, so there you go. And like I said, it's just very oppressive when you fight against Buster Blader as a Dragon player. All right, and then we got two fun duels. So this is my Cancer deck. I, I usually don't play Cancer. I, you know, like, I like to play fun decks. I usually don't play meta decks either. So I made a Cancer deck using Surprise Present, and I'll kind of talk about it briefly after these replays. So pretty much it's a Golden Castle, Lava Golem, Grand Maju deck with, um, we're playing, uh, we're playing White Veil, which, um, this is an equip spell that, uh, when you, um, equip it to a monster and that monster attacks, uh... Hold on. Oh yeah, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards when your monster attacks, and then face up cards are negated. But the uh, the secondary effect of this is if this uh, if it leaves the field, the player who has um, the player who activates this card loses three thousand da takes three thousand damage. So it's a pretty good burn card, and with surprise present, we can just go and set it on his turn. All right. So we're gonna surprise present him. And the thing, there's like mind games here with Surprise Present. So um, the thing is, is like you're tempted to activate that card, which is super funny. And um, you really can't do anything, you know? So he's going to try to lethal us with his Red Eye Slash. And then we have Lava Golem. So we're going to Lava Golem his stuff. He takes 3,000 damage from the White Veil. And then he's going to take another 1,000 from Lava Golem. So he just quits. <laughs> it's so dumb. 
Yeah, so Surprise Present is super funny. I, I really, I was experimenting with it, like, uh, for the last couple of days after I got it. And I was trying things like milling my opponent's cards with, like, um, there's a card that can uh, have you draw two, but you dump all the cards in your hand if you don't banish a normal monster. So I tried milling people's hands. Um, but I went with White Veil because I can actually use it to, like, OTK my opponent here. So we're going to use Glyph to uh, get our Golden Castle, make our Prince's plays, you know. Set up shop. If you haven't played against Golden Castle, it's pretty cancerous. We're going to surprise present our other glass slippers just to see what he does. He activates it on my monster. There we go. Doesn't read Golden Castle, loses his monster. So we have Strongberg. We're just going to swing in with Grand Maju for 4,000. And there you go. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. But I, I love it. So I'll show you the, the Grand Maju deck. The surprise present deck if you if you guys want to take a look at it real quick um so let's go to Taya. so i played a big old thick 30 card deck so essentially we have white veil or glass slippers for our opponent to activate on their own monsters to either with glass slippers they can attack with white veil they're going to take 3,000 damage potentially um and then we're playing like a like a little synchro package with our red resonator. So we can actually use red resonator and glyph to um, bring out Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Horse Prince, which will bring out our Grand Maju. So that's why we're not playing three Grand Majus. And then we're just playing a bunch of annoying hand traps. You know, we got two Kyroids, Karibo, Sphere Karibo, and then of course the most obnoxious burn monster in Duel Links, the Lava Golem. So there you go. I'm sorry if you think it's cancer, but there you go. You know, I made fun with this deck by playing Surprise Present. I'm not playing, you know, Shadow Game. I can burn people in other ways. Anyways, you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one, and peace.